Hello, my name is David Larson, amateur radio operator KK4WW. We're here at N4USA today, the Floyd Community Amateur Radio Station. Today I want to talk about a specific antenna tuner, a little portable tuner, the MFJ941. This is a rather old tuner, but I like it as a portable operation because it has many nice features. So let's take a look inside this tuner and enjoy looking at the rather old tuner that I like, does a nice job for field operation. This is an older model. Uh, you don't see them around too much, except you can buy them at flea markets for anywhere from $30 to $50, $70. But this is a model 941C MFJ. I like this little unit for portable work because it has all the various things you need for a useful tuner with a ballon or a, uh, yeah, the ballon for twin lead. Here's the transmitter capacitor, part of the T network. Here's the switch switching the inductor. And here's the uh, variable capacitor for the antenna side. So that's your T network. It does not have <clears throat> a cross needle SWR bridge. The way you use this to measure SWR, you notice a little switch down here that says uh, reflected and forward. This is reflected when it's out, forward when it's in and then a, a variable resistor here. So well, the way we use this is you put in a continuous carrier, go to forward power, adjust this knob so it's reading full scale on your meter, then you push in that, uh, adjust, adjust the control here for reverse uh, power and then you'll see the reflected power. So you have two positions, <clears throat> forward and reverse. And you also see there's a, uh, a SWR scale in there as well. Of course, you tune this in the same way you tune any uh, T-network. Well, here's the schematic diagram for the MFJ941C portable antenna tuner. Off on the left, you see this, the uh, diagram for the SWR meter for forward and reverse power reading here on the meter so you can calculate SWR. Here's a standard T-tuner, the transmitter capacitor, the antenna capacitor, and the inductor. They're switching at the output. So you can tie the tuner to coax one, coax two, a wire, or a balanced line, or you can bypass it completely. There's a built-in ballon here in this tuner, which makes it a very nice uh, tuner for portable work if you'll be using coax, balanced line, or a single wire. So let's take a look inside. See what components we have in here. As we know, the T-network has two capacitors. Here's one of the variable capacitors. <clears throat> Here's the other variable capacitor. Here's the variable inductor with some taps. And to keep the profile of this low, they've added a toroid down here to add inductance without adding so much height. So this makes up the, the uh, variable inductor. Over here is the SWR circuitry and uh, the forward reverse switch and so forth in here for measuring SWR. The little ballon for, fe for uh, feeding a twin lead for 300, 450 ohm twin lead uh, is down here in the lower right hand corner. And the various coax connectors and other connectors down here in the bottom for your twin lead. And here's your switch. We'll take a look at the back side of that. Here's the switch. It's on the back of the panel. So let's take a look at this back side. Well, here's where you would hook up your coax uh, 2 to antenna. Here's another coax 1 to the antenna. Here's where you hook up your ground connections. And here's the uh, switch. Notice it has all the nice functions. We can hook it up, hook the tuner up to uh, balance wire to coax one, coax two, or we can hook, bypass the tuner and go direct to coax two or coax one. There's also a coax bypass switch here, which goes to directly to this connector. And your balanced output is down here on these red connections. By putting wire between here and here, then we have a balanced feed line, or if you're just gonna feed a single wire, you feed it right off here. And here's your transmitter input. So it's a standard T-network, but it has a ballon for uh, balanced feed line. Nice little portable unit. Like I said, these are 
not made anymore. It's a rather old unit. Thank you very much for watching our video and good hamming and have a nice day.